بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ہوپ یو آل آر فائن اینڈ اسٹنگ سیف ایٹ ہوم ڈیئرس آئی ایم یور بایولوجی ٹیچر میڈم عثما سو ڈیئرس فسٹ آف آل آئی وانٹ ٹو کنگریچولیٹ یو آل آن یور پروموٹنگ ٹو کلاس نائن سو ڈیئرس کنگریچولیشنس آن یور پروموشن ٹو کلاس نائن ڈیئرس یو آل ہیو ڈن اے ویری گڈ جاب ان دا پریویس سیشن and i hope you all will continue this hard work in the next session of your class 9 so dears as you all know that today is the first lecture for the session of class 9 and you all know that we have done with the starting units of your biology book in your class 8 which is the unit number 1 which is about the introduction to biology the unit number 2 which is about solving a biological problem and the unit number 3 which is about the biodiversity so dears the course content for the mid term in your class 9 that is the unit number 4 that is cells and tissues the unit number 5 that is the cell cycle and the unit number 6 that is enzyme so dears the today we are going to start with your unit number 4 that is cells and tissues and the topics which we are going to do that is the microscopy microscope magnification and resolution light microscope and electron microscope so dears before starting a lecture i would like to tell you that the name of this unit that is the cells and tissue so as you all know that dears all the organisms are made up of cells cell because cell is the structural and functional unit of all the living organism so the body of unicellular and multicellular both the organisms is made up of a cell dears you know that the our body is made up of cell but in the start we were not aware of that our body is made up of cell so how is that possible that our body is made up of cell so with the help of an instrument that is the microscope so with the help of a microscope we came to know that all the living organisms body is made up of of a cell so dears the microscope it is an instrument which is used to see the smaller things or the microorganisms larger micro means small and organisms means organisms yes. so all the smaller organisms which we can not with our naked eye so we can see them through a microscope so the microscope is an instrument which make it possible that our body is made up of cells and we can see the internal structure of our body as well with the help of a microscope so dear the first topic is the microscopy now what is microscopy basically the use of microscope is known as the microscopy and the first microscope was developed by a scientist zacharias jensen in holland in 1595 dears it was a simple tube with the lenses at each end and the magnification power for this microscope was 3 times to 9 times dears the magnification power for this microscope was not as much as like in the other microscope nowadays it was the simplest microscope because it is the first microscope which was invented in uh, 1595 dear the magnification power means to enlarge the image from its original size so they can magnify this microscope can magnify the image of an object 3 times to 9 times than its actual image so dear anton levenhoek when levenhoek was the another microscopic microscopist who made an another microscope with a magnification power of more than 250 times and levenhoek was considered to be the first microscopist of that time and nowadays it is also considered to be the first microscopist because he was the first scientist to see the bacteria and other microorganisms in a drop of water so he examined the drop of water under his microscope with uh, which uh, which magnification power was more than 250 times so due to his studies he was known as the he was considered as the first microscopist 
so dears the next is the magnification and resolution now what is the difference between the magnification and resolution so dears basically when we see the enlarge or the increase image of an object that is known as the magnification so when we see things under a microscope its image sizes increases many times than its original image so the increase in the image size of an object is called the magnification so basically magnification is to enlarge the image of an object now what is a resolution dears to show the two objects separately that is known as the resolution dears resolution means the ability of a microscope or any optical instrument in optical instrument your eyes can also came because your eye is also a optical instrument with the help of which you can see each and everything so with the help of so resolution means the ability of a microscope or any optical instrument to show the two objects separately that is known as the resolution so to show the two objects separately that is known as the resolution for example our eyes can differentiate between two points at least 0.1 mm apart so dears now 0.1 mm apart means so for example if the object if the two objects are placed at a distance of 0.1 mm then our body can also resolve the space between those objects and our i will came to know that yes these are the two different objects but if the distance between them is less than 0.1 mm so our eyes will not uh, see the clear image of those objects so the magnification and resolution power for the microscope is much higher than the human eye so the resolution power of microscope is many times greater than the human eye that is why we can see a very minute and smaller things clearly under a microscope so dear students now coming towards the types of microscope there are basically two types of microscope a simple microscope and a compound microscope so there is a simple microscope means that it uses a single lens for example you can uh, as you all know that about the magnifying glass so in that glass only a single lens is present so that came under the simple microscope and compound microscope is a type of microscope which uses more than one type of lenses for example the light and electron microscope which uses the several lenses so at least two lenses are used in the compound microscope so dears the first microscope which we are going to start uh, study today is the light microscope so the light microscope uses the light as a source for the image of an object clear dears the light microscope uses light to make the image of an object with the help of light we can clearly see the image of an object on a compound or light microscope so dears the light passes through a sample and then to glass lenses and then these lenses enlarge the image of a sample and the second lens magnifies the image more and after passing these object and lenses the light is projected towards the viewer's eye where an enlarged and clear image is formed so dear the magnification power for the light microscope is 1500 times while the resolution power for this is 0.2 micrometer so dears as you can clearly see it in this diagram that there this is a light microscope in which the mirror is placed at the base of this microscope and here is the stage where the sample is placed so dears the light came from there of this place and hits this mirror and then pass it to this sample and from the sample this light passed to this lenses and then it came to the viewer's eye so the light came over here and it strikes the mirror then it passes through the object and then the two lenses and then at the end the image is clearly seen to the viewer's eye there it is a simple light microscope in which you can clearly see the different parts of this microscope 
so dears the next microscope is the electron microscope so dears here the name indicates that the electron microscope uses a beam of electron as a source so a beam of electron is used as a source in the electron microscope in this a magnetic lenses are placed which focuses the electron beam on a screen and in large image is formed while the resolution power and magnification power of the electron microscope is much greater than the light microscope because it can distinguish the object as small as 0.2 nanometer and 1 nanometer so dears basically there are two types of electron microscope but first we will came to study the structure of this electron microscope and dears as you can clearly see the diagram of the electron microscope so from this region the electron gun is present and from this region the electron beam is passed and when the electron beams pass through this area so the magnetic lenses here the magnetic lenses on the both side the magnetic lenses are used so these lenses converges the electron beam into a straight line which passes through a sample and then it strikes the screen where it hits uh, where it shows the image of an object there is that is the simple structure of the electron microscope the image of an object is shown over here and this screen at the base okay dears and the place over here is the first sample came and then at the end the screen came so dears there are two types of electron microscope the first one is the transmission electron microscope and the scanning electron microscope so dears what is the difference between the transmission and scanning electron microscope so dears the transmission electron microscope is used to view the internal cell structure it can magnify the objects about 250000 times dears while the scanning electron microscope is used to study the detailed structure of an object of any cell but it can show us the external image of an object clear dears the transmission electron microscope can is used to view the internal cell structure while the scanning electron microscope is used to see the external structure of a object so when the electron beams hits the metal for example if we take the example of the scanning electron microscope if we coat the surface of a metal so when the electrons beam hits the metal so it is reflected and makes the enlarged image of those metals so dears that is the mechanism of different types of microscope in which first the light microscope is given as you can clearly see it in this picture dears that is the light microscope so here the source of light is present and when the light strikes at this point so it passes through a sample and then from the sample it passes through a lenses and then at the end to the viewer's eyes as you can clearly see the eye of a viewer dear the next image here is the transmission electron microscope so first from this source the electron beam passes and here are the magnetic lenses which will converge the electron beam into a single path into a single line and the image will be clearly seen on the screen and you can will monitor it on a computer same is the scanning electron microscope in this also a magnetic lenses are used as like in the transmission electron microscope and the image will be formed on the screen and the viewer will observe or can view the image of an object on the screen clear dears so dears thank you so much for a today's lecture i hope you all will have no will be having no problem in today's lecture and uh, thank you so much dears stay safe allah hafiz